it's time to do the official playoff prediction video for the 2023 NFL season. Now, I know we normally do Madden and NCAA content here, but every year we do a playoff prediction video. People seem to like it, so let's do it again this year. And I think for this year's playoffs, it's actually one of the more interesting ones we have ahead because it's pretty unpredictable in my opinion. I guess you could say that's always the case with the NFL, with it being one and done, but typically I think we have a better idea of like the top four contenders. But you know, this year, outside of the one seeds on each conference you know there's kind of a lot of teams that could pull off upsets this year there's not as many dominant teams this year I feel like there's a lot of teams in the two through five seed that were kind of just shuffling around all season long so this is going to be a pretty interesting postseason in my opinion now let's start with the AFC first so we've got the Steelers and the Bills now the Bills are kind of interesting right now because they are very hot they kind of almost feel like a team of destiny right now meaning that like they had such a mediocre year for quite a while it was looking like one of their worst years ever Josh Allen was just turning the ball over a ton they just weren't been like putting together consistent wins and they were having a lot of bad losses but towards the end of this season they have really picked it up they've won a lot of tough games Josh Allen has played a lot better and they find themselves in the two seed where at a point you know five six weeks ago it looked like they were going to miss the playoffs completely so you talk about a huge turnaround right now they're rolling feel like a team of destiny and all these other past previous years they went in as one of the favorites they went in is the team that we all thought is going to take that step and get to the Super Bowl this year only to fall flat whereas this year they're kind of doing the opposite thing now they're playing the Steelers who just somehow always make the playoffs like they always get into that seventh seed even if they're not the greatest team they play good defense they don't make a ton of mistakes they have a good coach they always are just solid enough to get in and the weather for this game looks like it's going to be absolutely crazy which I think actually plays into the Steelers a little bit because they obviously have the lesser talented roster they have by far the lesser QB and I think that like a nasty snowy bad weather game actually would favor the team that's a little bit more gritty that doesn't have you know the the better QB to lean on because like no QB is going to be great a lot of times in these types of environments but also I do feel as though the Bills are just too much better of a team. I think this game could be very close. I, you know, our upset wouldn't be the most shocking thing in the world, but I'm going Bills this round. I think the Bills are going to take this home and, and keep riding that momentum. Next up, we've got the Chiefs and the Dolphins. And this is another interesting one because look, the Chiefs might be the three C, but they do not look like a top three seed in the AFC this year. I, you could say the Dolphins have looked a little bit more impressive overall this year, maybe. Just been a rough year for them. The receivers haven't been playing very well. Kelsey has had a bit of a down year by his standards. Mahomes has had a down year by his standards. Just looks kind of rough, but they do have that home field, and we know it's very hard to win in KC, especially in the postseason. This looks like it's going to be another nasty weather game, which I think will hurt the Dolphins. And when you look at the last few weeks, I mean, the Dolphins are the team that you say, man, their, their offense is just too good. They're a lot to deal with last three weeks their offense is averaging about 18 points a game and a, and a couple of those games have even been at home they just haven't been looking as high powered I know they've been dealing with some injuries that definitely does play a pretty big role in that but they're not fully healthy they're going into KC which is just a tough place to play they're kind of like the new team in the mix in a way even though they do have talented players you know they're not as battle tested as the Chiefs are I think this is a tough home field to overcome and I think the Dolphins are just not really playing at their best right now their offense isn't doing what it was earlier in the season so to speak and you know again this is a game that could absolutely win but I'm just I think this is like a get right spot the Chiefs are gonna show that they are the more experienced team Andy and Pat are gonna show that they're the more experienced guys here they're at home the weather I think is gonna be more of in favor of them obviously than the Dolphins so I do think the Chiefs are gonna win and speaking of the Chiefs underdog fantasy has a great sign up special for this game tomorrow with the postseason coming up you definitely want to check out underdog fantasy especially if you like putting a little bit of money on the games they're gonna give you a free play of Patrick Mahomes to go over 0.5 yards meaning he just has to get a single yard and that's it then he hits he wins and you can pair that with some other stats and the more you pair the more money you could potentially win and if you sign up using my code Ray R-A-Y they're going to also double your first deposit up to $100 so you get the free Mahomes play but they will also give you up to a free $100 in your account to play with and you just can't beat that and Underdog Fantasy's Pick'em game is now available in even more states than ever before so it gives more people the opportunity to finally play and win some money. Next up, we have the Browns and the Texans. Now, this is a tricky one as well. I'm going with narratives for a lot of this. I'm going with like the script. I I, I believe in the script to, to a small extent. I, I want to go with the script here. And look, both of these teams, I think, are pretty evenly matched. The Browns beat the Texans 
pretty convincingly just a few weeks ago in Houston. So they have already done this. They're hot right now. Joe Flacco, hey, he's playing really good. It is what it is. It doesn't make sense, but it's happening. Their defense is really good. Even when they've had these games where they've played with even worse QBs than Flacco, they still were able to get wins or make the games very difficult because they're just a well-coached team. They don't make a lot of crazy mistakes and their defense is just so good. Now, I know Denzel Ward, there's a chance he might not play, which would be a pretty big hit, but even when they've had guys miss time this year, it just doesn't seem like they've been much worse because of it. They've been a tough out no matter who they've played, and the Texans are the new team here. You know, C.J. Stroud's been amazing. He's going to win Rookie of the Year, but they're the new team here. They're not as experienced. The Browns have a little bit of experience. That defense definitely has the experience, and look, if Joe Flacco is going to play the way he's playing, you know, they're not really at a big QB disadvantage either. I think the Browns are going to win. I do think it's a pretty close game. Like, you know, they probably win by less than a touchdown, but I'm about to narrow man Joe Flacco going back into Baltimore that is the script that we need I'm sorry I love the Texans I think their team is going to be great for years to come like they're they're ahead of schedule by a lot right now so it's good for them but this is the this is the script right here Joe Flacco going into Baltimore like come on like you you just know that's got to happen now going over to the NFC we've got the Cowboys versus the Packers and I think this is the second largest spread of the week. I think the biggest one is the Bills and the Steelers. But again, the weather there, I think, is really going to play a factor into that. Here, Dallas at home, I think they're favored by like seven and a half points, more than a touchdown. And look, the Packers have had a really good season, but they are the youngest team in the playoffs since like the 70s or something like that. They're kind of ahead of schedule too now with the new QB of Jordan Love. They've played really good. Defense has played pretty good lately as well, but Dallas doesn't lose at home. And Dallas is one of the hottest teams in the league this year. The, the, the thing with Dallas is, you know, you get to the postseason and Dallas kind of drops a stinker. You know, last year they had an easy game in the first round with the Bucks, blew them out. They didn't drop the stinker, but I believe then they lost the second round. But Cowboys at home are, are about as automatic as you can get right now. They haven't lost there in quite a while. And Green Bay's too young. They're too inexperienced. And, and then again, like talking about the script, you know, remember the last time they had a big playoff game versus each other, the Des Bryant drop crazy game. You know, this is just kind of a get back spot. The Dallas, Dallas is the better team. They're at home. They're more experienced. They're the team that's really ready to like make that push for a Super Bowl. Whereas like the Packers are not there yet. And then, you know, just a little bit of the revenge from, you know, 10 or so years ago, however long ago that, you know, the Des Bryant catch was. Cowboys are winning and here again the script Matthew Stafford going back to the Lions right he only was in the playoffs maybe once or twice I think with the Lions and they didn't win a game you know he, he immediately goes to the Rams they win the Super Bowl and now the Lions have had the best year that they've had in I don't know it's been quite a while 20 30 years something like that they've got the home game and now Matthew Stafford goes back home to the place where you know the Lions might have been bad but Matthew Stafford wasn't he dominated there like his numbers were always great he even got them into the postseason you know a couple times He's going back there. The narrative, the script here is just so perfect. And the Lions have been like, they've been good, but they've had like some ups and downs, right? They've, they've definitely dropped some games that you didn't think they would drop. You know, the Rams are one of the hot, they might be the hottest team right now. I think they're what, like seven and one over their last eight games. And the only game they lost was against the Ravens who are like probably the best team in the NFL. I mean, they, they whooped the Niners. So like, I think you would have to say they're the best team right now. So there's not a team hotter than, than the Rams. Defense is playing solid. Offense, Stafford's playing great. Puka has been electric. You know, Cooper Cup's still solid. Kyron Williams has been going crazy. This is going to be a heartbreaker, man. I hate this for the Lions because they have such great fans, diehard fans, and it's been so long since they've even been in this spot. But I think Matthew Stafford is going home. I think that's that's the script I'm going with here. I think he kind of rips the heart out of his of his former like team and fan base there. Like, I, I just really see that happening. And I don't want that for the Lions. Like I do think this is the game I think I am most interested in in the wild card realm for sure. I think most people probably are. You know, maybe outside of the Chiefs and the Dolphins, that'd probably be the next one. But man, this is the one I'm most excited for. And I just think the Rams are going to do it. They're hot right now, and I think it, Matthew Stafford's going to going to really upset the, the old fan base there. Now, this next game is probably the hardest to predict because, look, if I'm just going with who I think is the better team and better roster, it's the Eagles, and it's not even close. However, the Bucs have overachieved this year, I would say. They've played pretty well. Last few weeks, though, like they're not playing very well. The Saints blew them out, uh, which is my team, and I don't think my Saints are very good, although they ended the season on a high note. Like, we blew them out, and then they won against the Panthers, the worst team in the league, 9-0. Wasn't very impressive. They're not playing that good right now, even though they've had a much better year that I would say than projected. The Eagles, the last month, are one of the worst teams in the league. They're just losing almost every game. And, and games to bad teams, mind you, and they're coming into this game injured. 
I, I want to pick the Eagles just straight away because they're the better team and, and the NFC South is such a bad conference even though the Bucks have overachieved like they're definitely capable of putting up a good game here but the thing that's worrying me about the Eagles is Jalen Hurts is hurt he hasn't thrown a pass since he got hurt last week and now I think it's even a potential that AJ Brown maybe might not be playing from what I've heard like those are big and they got to go on the road which I don't think that's the biggest deal in this case I don't think like Tampa has like some crazy home field advantage like the weather should be probably pretty solid there as well but it's just like you're going on the road you're playing the worst football you've played in a while you're just you're losing to bad teams teams that are worse than the Bucks you know by quite a bit your QB has not thrown a pass and he's clearly not going to be close to 100% and even when Jalen Hurts has been 100% this team has still been struggling the Eagles defense has just been off a map this year especially the secondary this is a hard game to pick because I want to say the Eagles win because they are the better team but they're not playing like it and they have too many key injuries right now if Jalen Hurts is like coming into this game like 60 70 percent I just don't see how they'd be able to win like and especially with a defense that can't carry you like if this was last year and Jalen Hurts was coming in a little injured I would say well the defense is going to carry him and they'll they'll be fine but the defense has been getting lit up this year and the Bucks have the weapons to light up a defense Mike Evans having a great year you still got Chris Godwin you know Rashad White you know make some plays there they've got guys that can definitely expose that secondary so yeah this is a toss-up because of the Eagles situation, this is absolutely a toss-up. And for narrative sake, for script sake, I'm taking the Eagles because Eagles Cowboys is, is the game. That's that's the game we want to see. But man, like that game can go either way because the Eagles are just not coming in this in a good situation. Now I think the script here sets up beautifully for the division round. You got Flacco going into Baltimore. Who doesn't love that? You've got the Chiefs Bills rivalry. You know the the Chiefs have been coming out on the on top of that, especially in the postseason. The Bills want to get their get back and they're at home. You've got two big division matchups in the NFC, right? Rams, Niners, you know, the Niners typically get the better of the Rams, but a couple years ago, the Rams beat them in the NFC Championship to go on and get that Super Bowl. And then, of course, Dallas Eagles. I mean, that is always a heated matchup, and I believe they're one and one versus each other this year. So this would be the rubber match right here. And, you know, this is the spot where the Cowboys usually lay down, too. So at home versus their, like, biggest rival, what's going to happen? This, this is the script that I like. So we'll start with the Browns and Ravens here like how crazy would it be if Joe Flacco same way Stafford I think goes in and, and wins in Detroit what if Flacco goes back to Baltimore and wins there be a little bit different because Flacco actually won a Super Bowl there had a crazy postseason run that one year so that would be pretty interesting it wouldn't be like something he hasn't done before but man I'm not gonna even overthink this the Ravens are too good this year Lamar is the MVP I think this game can be close for multiple reasons number one Joe Flacco going back to a place where you know he's comfortable he's played there and he's still got love there a division game always gonna be close a game with the Browns period is gonna be close this year that's what we've come to find out like they're not gonna be ran over by anybody division games always make it even tougher they play you better but I'm not going to overthink this the Ravens are too good to lose their first game and I know that's been kind of the knock on sometimes Lamar on the Ravens is like you know ever since he's been there they can't really get over that hump in the playoffs they lose pretty early sometimes they're you know there have been injuries to Lamar that have played a factor there but for whatever reason they can't get that win I think they get it here and then we've got Bills Chiefs and look the Bills want their get back from a few years ago with like whatever it was 13 seconds left and, and the Chiefs win the game or go to OT whatever it was like they want their get back and I think right right now the Bills are better than Chiefs the Bills like I said they feel like a team of destiny right now they have turned it around and they look like the team they were supposed to look like and I think like this is the year that they could maybe make that move to go all the way all the years where they were just riding high all year and it's like this is finally their year just to fall flat I, I think they're doing the opposite this year they were not very great all year and now they're hot the Chiefs have been just very mediocre, especially in the second half of the year. Like they've gotten worse at the same time where the Bills have gotten better. And the Bills have home this time. I think the Bills are going and they're gonna they're gonna get their get back this year. And they're gonna take out the Chiefs. And this is the like this is the year that if the Chiefs lose before they get to the conference championship, like that's not a shocker. Like that's I think that's expected this year after what we've seen from them going to the divisional round a similar situation here right a few years ago the Rams they took out the Niners even though the Niners typically get the better of them they took them out and they go on to win the Super Bowl I think this same thing in this matchup here this is the get back for the Niners the Niners are the 1B team this year 
right after the Ravens, only because the Ravens smoked them. I don't think that would happen again in a rematch. I think that was just, it was a bad day at the office for the for the Niners, and, and the Ravens came and do what they had to do. Like, the Ravens did what they had to do, and the Niners just, bad day at the office for them. I don't think that same thing would repeat itself, like they would just get smoked by anybody. I think the Rams are hot, and the Rams could definitely win this game, but the Niners are the better team. They're at home, and, and it, it, the, the divisional rivalry blood should be a closer game. But Niners get their get back here. And then we go to this game, the rubber match, right? This is where the, the, the Cowboys fall flat. Cowboys at home, though. Like, they don't lose at home. And we know going into this, like, the, the Eagles still will probably not be at full strength. You know, maybe Jalen Hurts is a little better at this point. A.J. Brown better. They're not going to be at full strength. And their defense is just too bad this year. When your defense is that bad, you can't contain these juggernauts. That's why when they played the Cowboys recently, they put up so many points. When they played the Niners recently, they put up so much points. CD Lamb is going to feast, you know, Brandon Cooks is going to feast on this defense. It's just, they, They're not who they were last year, and they're going to come in banged up, and they're on the road, coming into an environment where this team doesn't lose. Cowboys go to the conference finals, which is the further they've been in quite some time, and this would make for a super exciting Final Four. I know we're coming down to the top two seeds here, which is like, oh, you're just picking the, the favorites, but not really, because, like, how much would the Bills really be favorited over the Chiefs? How much would the Cowboys and Niners be favored in these games. These are division matchups. These are going to be like really tough matchups. And outside of the one seeds, there's no like true contenders outside of them this year. Like the Bills got into the second seed the last game of the season. Same for the Cowboys. These teams are bouncing around all year. So it's not like we've had two teams on each side that have just been far and away better than everybody else all year. So even though it's coming down to the top two seeds, I don't really think that it's just that obvious that these guys would win these games. Again, I've been saying kind of team of destiny for the Bills. You know, the Bills are going to have to go into a tough environment versus a tough defensive team. But I feel like, I unless I'm remembering this wrong throughout history, I think um, the Bills usually play the Ravens pretty well. Like, they, they usually contain Lamar pretty well. Their coach, I think, is usually pretty, like, well-equipped against Lamar. Unless I'm remembering history wrong, you can correct me. I feel like they're usually pretty good against Lamar. And again, they're one of the hottest teams in the league. Like, right now, you would say these are probably the four hottest teams other than the Rams, because the Rams have finished the, the season crazy, but, you know, so have the Bills, you know, the Cowboys have been good, obviously the, the two one seeds have been great for the majority of the year, but the Bills, of this group left, you could argue are like the hottest team of the, of the ones that are left, just how they've been playing through the last like six or so weeks, I think they could contain Lamar, you know, either team could win this game, the, the Ravens are at home, you know, I, I would love to see Lamar get a ring, but I, my gut's telling me the Bills, like it's their time, like they've been supposed to be in this damn Super Bowl, and this is the year I think they get there where it looked like they had no shot. I think this is the year that sometimes this is how it happens. And then over here, I think, you know, we know that the Niners steamrolled the Cowboys earlier in the season. I don't think it would be the same way. Like the Cowboys are too good. Both of these teams are too good. I don't think they get got like that again. But we do know the Cowboys go on the road. They're not as good. And the Rams, or excuse me, the Niners at home are really good. And they're just really good in general. Like, they are just one of the most, they're probably the most stacked roster in the league. Like, just all things considered, they have so much. They're at home. And this is like the one kind of weakness. We know that the Cowboys are not quite as good as the Niners. And they also are just not the same team on the road. So I think the Niners finally get back to the Super Bowl. And this is a Super Bowl matchup that I think anybody could get behind. You've got a great, fun Niner team with the, you know, Mr. Irrelevant QB. And then you've got the big name QB, the guy finally, you know, getting over the hump, getting to the Super Bowl. And the Niners have been in the Super Bowl, I think, twice in the last about 10 years. They lost to the Ravens. You know, so that would also be another interesting matchup if they face the Ravens again, especially given the matchup this year as well. And then they were in the Super Bowl a few years ago against the Chiefs and lost that one in a game where it looked like they were really close to winning at one point. And then they almost got back, you know, right after that. But the Rams took them out. So, like, the Niners have been, like, so close to a Super Bowl, you know, quite a few times over the last decade. Can't make it happen. I think this, even though I think this is kind of a team of destiny thing for the Bills, I think this is where it stops. I think the Niners have been... For the majority of the year, we've considered them the best team up until the Ravens kind of annihilated them. Then we've considered them like the 1B or like the number two team. But I think this is where everything comes full circle. They finally get that Super Bowl they've been chasing for the last decade. The Bills, although they come up short, they get to the big dance. It's a big step forward for Josh Allen and the franchise, but I think the Niners are taking it home this year. Remember, don't forget to check out Underdog Fantasy for this weekend's games and take advantage of the Patrick Mahomes special and the $100 deposit match.